Hello, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. This is the day two of the non child Escape program, non child Escape conference. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Yesterday, we talked about non child Escape generally, but today, this is the day one, day two of the non child Escape meeting. It shall be great in the name of Jesus. But today, we'll be dealing with your foundation. We we'll be dealing with the foundation. Some of you there are some powers holding you because of the foundation you came from. Most of me, especially in the African context, we we are serving idols, goddess, God and goddess. Before the missionary came, and most of our father did not leave the tradition. It now become an inherited something. I'll be talking about dealing with your foundation today under the same team, non chalice came. The Bible says. Before I go ahead, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for your people. Thank you because you will bless them. Thank you because evil and faulty foundation today shall be destroyed. Be thou exalted, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me pray for you if you want to give your life to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, show me mercy. Write my name in the book of life. Help me not to go back to my sin. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's a merciful God. If you have said that prayer, congratulations to you. I'm so happy that you gave your life to Christ. My phone number is plus 234-8028355548. Follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. Search for Abraham. Most special. It is well with your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. I will be talking on dealing with your foundation under the same thing. This is the day two of the, of the meeting. Dealing with your foundation. Some of you, your foundation are faulty. That is what is affecting you. Until you destroy that foundation and lay another one, you continue to struggle. But I speak today, struggling is terminated from the line. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to Psalm number 11, verse 3. It says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Psalm 11 verse 3, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation need be destroyed, the righteous need to lay another foundation. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19. I'll read from verse 19. 2 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Let everyone that nameth the name of, name of Christ depart from iniquity. And hear me, God, Jesus told Paul, he says, Peter, upon this mountain I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. What is he trying to say? He's laying lay another foundation. tradition. The mountain is talking about this, so I'm laying foundation on the New Testament, the world. Every foundation that is faulty working against you today, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not live another person's life. You will live your own life. You will enjoy your life to the fullest. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, it is not your life you are living. You are living someone else's life. That was not your original life. It, it, it was changed. But today, what belongs to you, God shall bring it back to you. It shall be reversed in the name of Jesus for prayer, partnership, and counseling, my number is plus 234-8028355548. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Search for Abraham Moses Bishop. It shall be well with you. That faulty foundation in your family, today, it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. All you need is the word of God. 